Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. In this video, I will be talking about units in AutoCAD. AutoCAD by default doesn't understand or recognize the inch and the foot symbol. For example, I'm going to go ahead and start the line command, click here, and then give a direction, and then I'm going to type two feet, two and the foot symbol, and I'm going to click enter, and you will see the, it, the box will get highlighted in red, meaning AutoCAD doesn't understand this number. I'm going to click escape twice here, and I'm going to start the line command again, I'm going to click here, give direction. Then I'm going to type 6 inches this time, 6, the inch symbol, click enter, and the same, it won't go through because it doesn't understand the inch symbol. To fix that, we just go, we need to go to the units menu in AutoCAD. The easiest way to go to the units menu in AutoCAD is by typing on your keyboard U, N, and then click enter. Once the units menu opens up, you will see here that we have length, angle, insertion scale, sample output, and we also have here direction. The only thing you need to change here to, to make AutoCAD understand the inch and the foot symbols, you just need to go under length, under type, switch from decimal to architectural, or to engineering. I'm going to keep engineering right now and click OK. And I'm going to start the line command again. I'm going to click here give direction and then I'm gonna type here two feet and I'm gonna click enter and you can see it drew the line I'm gonna click enter here to finish the command or right click and click enter and then zoom out a little bit and here you go the line got created there was no issues with AutoCAD understanding the foot symbol I'm gonna start the command again I'm gonna draw another line click here give direction and I'm gonna type this time Let's see, let's do 18 inches and click enter. And here you go, AutoCAD understands it, no problems. Okay, and just another example, I'm gonna draw another line, click here, give direction, and I'm gonna type one foot, sorry, one foot, and then six inches. And see, I didn't leave space between the one foot and the six inches. Just by putting the symbols, AutoCAD understands that these are two different numbers. And I'm going to click enter here. And you can see it drew an 18 inch line. Now going back to the units menu, I'm going to, let's go back, U, N, and click enter. And here you see there's engineering. And I said architectural, if you chose architectural, it will give you the same result. I'm going to click OK, line. Start here, give direction, 6 inches, click enter, and click enter again to finish the command, or right click and select enter, and see no problem, architectural and engineering, it behaved the same. The difference between architectural and engineering in the units menu is basically the preview in the preview of the numbers. So let's go back to the units menu, and you can see we have architectural selected here. I'm going to click X. So right now, when we have architectural selected, I'm going to click here, start the line command. If you see here the numbers preview, it's showing me the number in fractional format. So right now it's 11 inches. I'm going to move the mouse a little bit. It's right now saying 11, 1 eighth of an inch, then 11, 3 16 of an inch, and 11 and a quarter inch, or 1 over 4. Now, if we had the engineering set up in the units menu, gonna go back and select it and click OK start the line command again and let's look at the numbers preview here of the dimensions you can see it's showing us the numbers in decimal format so that's the only difference between architectural and engineering is just the preview of the numbers but both of them will allow AutoCAD to understand the inch and the foot symbol okay one more thing to mention I'm gonna click escape here and start the line command again. AutoCAD will understand both fractional and decimal values. So for example, if I type, let's say, 
11 inches, 11.5 inches. This is decimal, click enter. AutoCAD understands it. Okay, so now I will show you how to do the line, how to draw in the fractional format. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna do the same 11 and a half, but this time I'm gonna type 11 dash one slash two that's 11 and a half inches and i'm gonna click uh, put the inch symbol and click enter and here you go so again to do this i'm gonna click enter right now sorry click the escape to to cancel the line command I'm gonna start again here so let's see here i'm gonna do this time six and a half inches and click enter and click enter again on the keyboard to finish the command and then line again and I'm gonna do this with the fractional format 6 dash 1 and a half sorry half so 6 and half inches put the inch symbol click enter click enter again and here we go okay so that was that I'm gonna bring now the notepad to to take a few notes so and to recap actually so units in AutoCAD so to open the units menu units menu you type U plus N plus enter and that will open it and you want to choose architectural or engineering um, keep or choose precision to one sixteenth and um, also uh, as you saw AutoCAD understands both decimal values for example zero and a, zero point five inches and fractional values such as one slash two inch a half inch so it understands both if you type them on the keyboard when you're drawing and or using one of the modifying commands okay i'm gonna add one more tip is that uh, the default unit in autocad after you do the setup in units so after setup is inches so what that means, I'm going to go back to AutoCAD and I'm going to start a new line command here. Click here, give a direction. So right now, if I do 1, 6 and I don't put either the inch symbol or the foot symbol, AutoCAD will understand that this is inches. And I clicked enter right now and I'm going to click enter again. Um, so I'm going to select this line. I'm going to put the mouse here on this end and you can see it says one one foot four inches which which is equal to 16 inches so bringing the notepad again uh, here it is so the default unit after the setup is inches so again actually let's drop this back and i want to show you one more example i'm going to start the line command click here give direction so if i type one foot and then six without putting the inch symbol it will also understand that this is one foot and six inches and no problems with that okay so so that's regarding the the units in AutoCAD and um, one more thing the last thing I want to mention about the units menu is that units are are a file specific setting meaning that when you start an empty drawing when you start an empty drawing, you will have to go to the units and change it to decimal or architectural. So that way AutoCAD understands the inch and the foot symbol. So for example, I'm going to go to the start tab here and I'm going to click on start drawing. And then here I'm going to go to the units menu directly, click enter. And you can see it's back to decimal, but only in this drawing, the new drawing that we created. I'm going to click cancel here. And the same if you start a new drawing from the application button, you hit new 
and then you choose uh, one of the templates here I'm gonna choose ACAD LT hit open and then start the line command again I'm gonna click here actually it doesn't matter the line command I'm just gonna go directly to the units menu open it up and you can see it says decimal again so that's what I mean by file specific that the units you will have to you will have to um, you will have to change it every time you every time you create a new drawing uh, from the default templates in AutoCAD or if you click on the big start drawing button on the on the start tab so another workaround for the units is save the units settings in your template and that way the setting that way it will be correctly set up every time you start a new drawing template is beyond the scope of this video um, so I will leave that to the template video that I will be making okay and that was it regarding units in AutoCAD